This is the Endeavor Board of Directors under the pretty lights. Uh, <laughs> the BOD, the B-O-D, um, that's what we like to call it, but Board of Directors under the pretty lights. And, uh, you know, you can see it's got that twin thing going. Um, but like all Endeavor boards with this channel system, there's it's more than just a twin and you'll see. Um, you can see this massive amount of camber right here. Look at that. I mean, your, your BOD, your board of directors might be a little different than this one because camber just, camber's different from board to board because of the wood core. Just wood reacts differently when it's cured. Um, but this one has just a massively healthy bow of camber. But yet, I don't know if you can see this here, it's very difficult to pick up, but there is a little bevel. Um, it's basically turned up. You can kind of see it right here. Um, see how this just kind of lifts up here. They've, de they've like corded out like this. Um, and it's very hard to see, but it kind of goes like this and then in, and it ends before the channel begins. Um, and it just gives you that lifted side. So you have all this pop of camber, but it gives you those lifted sides. So it's forgiving camber, uh, makes it kind of cool. It's uh, probably almost as forgiving as, uh, the pioneer and the ranger, except for the fact it doesn't float as well as those do, but you get more camber in exchange. So it's, you know, it's all about what's more important to you. For us, if you're looking for the perfect one board quiver, or one of them, it's the Ranger and the Pioneer. However, if you feel like, it, like, let's say you have a great powder board and you just want more pop, more camber, more air, um, Endeavor's just very air oriented. Um, these guys just launch. Um, uh, it just makes my hips hurt seeing how big they go. Um, but anyways, um, you know, this has that forgiving nature and you can see there. Um, let's get into the specs here. People ask me to measure. I'm gonna go out to that little arrow on each side here um, and show you kind of how wide it is at the widest point. You're looking at about, you know, probably about 26.2, 26 26.3, 26 something, something like that. Um, and then about the same, like 25.2, 25.3, somewhere around there. And it's the same in the nose. Now, um, for those of you who are getting this as kind of your one board quiver, and you wanna know um, like what it does, if you wanna set it all the way back and get some more directional float, I found that this little lifted thing might make it a little bit better than regular camber, but it still feels really close to the regular camber um, in terms of float. The the Pioneer and the Ranger just, you know, floated so much easier. Um, but going all the way back, and I would not get Burton EST bindings, I would get Burton Reflex or any other regular ones because with EST you mount on the outside, it limits your setback ability, where um, with normal disc bindings like you know Reflex, Burton Reflex, and Union, everybody else that has a Burton channel compatible mount in the disc, uh, they're inside here, so you have a little more room to slide back further. But if you slide all the way back to the to the you know the last arrow on each one, the difference between nose to here and tail to here is five inches. Then if you set it all the way back on board, you get 2.5 back, which is pretty massive. It kind of makes this, it definitely feels more, you know, all mountain freestyle, aggressive mountain freestyle, but um, it's, it's definitely has that kind of like all mountain setback. That's more than most boards out there and it makes it okay. It's still not great but it's really nice to have that directional float if you're somebody that likes to set it back. If you want better float, yeah, it's the Pioneer and the Ranger um, or the Ranger uh, with this guy, but um, you know, in comparison price point wise, but you know, you get more camber again. Looking at the base, just smooth, 
fast, well-built, good glide, even like not waxed. You can see it's, you know, it's starting to get a little hungry. You could use some wax, but it kept its speed really well. Um, and all in all, uh, the BOD, it's a pretty fun, it's a very fun poppy board that's forgiving, that has a lot of floated camber. You know, we didn't really get to get this board in really hard snow, um, hard to icy snow. And sometimes those lifted edges can change the personality of the ride. So um, luckily for us in the weeks that we had this, the conditions were always really good and we barely got an ice patch. But you know, if you're out riding in really hard to icy snow, uh, you might notice that like, just like you see here, you know, when you're on this tip and tail, see how it kind of, you know, rocks back and forth a little bit. Um, uh, there might be a twist in this board, but, um, but you know, that lifted tip and tail can sometimes make the board feel a little different, uh, a little more, um, washy. Uh, we felt that with Arbor and with other companies, um, that have this lifted tech, but this is a very subtle, very mellow lift. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. That was kind of the one thing we couldn't figure out in the time we were testing. But there you have it, the board of directors.